and he needed a sip of water. So both boys just alone on the action, have their forces moving around in the middle. So going to come down to whether this is a huge engagement. Kanad actually has five tanks running around, unsupported completely. Flash manages to surround that, box that in, be able to do a pretty good job. Now it's finally reinforcements moving in to help defend that. Run alongside his own mines on the right side. So apparently they're thinking of going for the 12 o'clock base. And there are vultures alongside to help support him. See what actually goes for this or not. There are tanks though in the siege positions. Force flash. So Kanad is going to be forced to move some of his tanks in the siege position. Some of them die just as they siege up. Mulchers moving in close just now, trying to brew up some fire, possibly plant on mines. Most likely don't even have mines, but Kanata should actually be able to clean this up, except now Flash has reinforcements coming in. Scans going off. Flash actually can establish the 9 o'clock base and should actually be able to clean up this tank line that uh, Kanata has put down at very close to his 12 o'clock base. So Kanata, despite getting the bases up first, we're going to see who actually gets an economic advantage now because if he not, doesn't manage to do anything, har any harassment. Not really going to be in too bad a position, too good a position, because Flash, I believe, has a slightly large number of forces. Science facility now coming up for, just now coming up for Kanata. While Flash already has his first dropship out, Kanata should follow suit in that regard very soon as well. So both players are going to have a standard dropship tank Goliath play. She's going to come down to who prevents gases and bases of each other. Both players, the way they're setting up, are going to have four gases, which means a lot of tanks, a lot of dropships, and a lot of Goliaths to help support. But mostly, it's going to be a lot of tanks. Again, now Kanata trying to move now towards the 9 o'clock base. I'm not quite sure. I don't think he has actually enough force to help support himself there. Flash, I believe, has plenty of tanks as long as that one guy still building his base there. Gonna be in a pretty good position there. Kanata should have established, yeah, has fully established his two expansions. He's going to start mining a lot from them very soon. But uh, if he doesn't manage to do any sort of damage to Flash, that economic demand just doesn't really give him anything now, does it? And I need more sip of water. Yeah. TVTs are games that can be fairly tiring sometimes when you don't have anything going on. Flash now has actually three dropships out in the way. Actually, yeah, three dropships. Possibly something loaded. I'm going to see what actually tries to go for an attack or not. Maybe even break out. And June Bay not being put down by Kanadis, who's going to have some air turrets up fairly soon to help against this exact strategy. And doesn't really have. I have. Don't think I've even seen a dropship from him yet. So Flash is going to be the dropship guy to start off. He has the three dropships moving in to the right side and has there's one SCV there in position for Kanata so if there was an expansion to be put up he's gonna spot this. Actually gonna put down a, tur a missile turret there just in case there are some force coming in. Flash is actually gonna drop anyway. He, m he flew there for the reason and he figured oh okay so Kanata has something. Kanata has something. Kanata ha does indeed have something at the far right. He's gonna dr drop some dropships there. No reinforcements coming in. Uh, actually, some running in right now, but I believe far too late. Cannot afford to uh, move his CC away. So Kanata having uh, sp either trying to take it down a base at the upper right or having that as uh, as a spotter. Anyway, he gave Flash an idea. Oh, if that is a spotter, then might be he's probably spotting for something. So there you go. Flash loses dropship though in transit. Should should not have happened. And Kanata should actually be able to clean out these forces that Flash has at this. 4 o'clock base, but still pretty good overall by Flash. Does manage to rest, that does manage to spot, so knows that the amount of base that Kanata has might have actually been underestimated by him. Flash type of player still playing at a perfect economic game. Just players trying to establish bases at all locations so far. Kanata actually trying to establish the 5 o'clock, kind of the 5.30 o'clock, very close to the 6 o'clock, I could say, trying to take both the bottom bases. Uh, actually, I believe he might have actually folded a CC towards that base as soon as he saw the flash. Hey, if I was going to take my 4 o'clock, maybe float my CC away. Actually, I think that's a bit too long a distance to, for CC to fly in such quick a time. But finally, dropships out for Kanata. He only has a lot of Goliaths. A lot of Goliaths. Very heavy Goliaths. Going to go out and start hunting some forces. Uh, has all of his tanks inside the dropships just to keep them safe. Has all those Goliaths running in on the ground, gonna start sieging up at a distance against some of Flash Force are moving in with Goliaths very close to take those tanks out. He's gonna run around trying to clean up and tanks have finally dropped of his own moving in very close. Flash gonna uh, try to establish a base at the two o'clock position. Managed to hold that, could be pretty good for him. But so far the player's just fighting for gas. Let's see Kanata has his main, has his natural expansion, has his twelve o'clock. Okay, I'm talking about Flash, I'm sorry, yeah, has his main as natural as his 
has his 12 o'clock now going to be an engagement here Kanata dropping a lot of forces we're going to see what the flash exchange oh, the superior number goal we're going to see what actually becomes the winning factor has, Kanata only has two tanks on the one who lost his oh losing his Goliath means the flash is going to be able to move his own Goliath very close to the tanks and now they're going to drop right on top of those tanks Kanata is going to lose all that but yeah Kanata has his uh, has not retaken his four o'clock does have the six o'clock does have the base next to that to the right does have his main does have his natural and I believe that's all she wrote for now flash actually has the nine o'clock position has his main has his has his 12, has his natural, we stop, trying to establish 2 o'clock base, so, uh, the 2 o'clock base, I'm sorry, so, if you manage to do that, of course, one base over, economic advantage, oh, Kanata dropping on top, getting his drop, I don't even know what he was doing, trying to drop in very close, not being very successful, and now Flash going to get several of his dropships caught in, one of them goes down, almost got one of his others caught, so both these players really have to be very careful not to lose. Uh, sometimes you just lose your drop ships. You lose a heavy amount of drop ships. That's it. That's a loss. That's so much gas. So uh, that's all your maneuverability out the window. That's so much gas down the toilet that you can't really move back from that. And at this point, I'm having a little bit of trouble f trying to find out who has the expand <laughs> the advantage. I was going to say Flash going to drop his entire tank line very close to Kanata's forces, and Kanata's going to be completely really wiped out here in the middle, forcing to retreat there Fa flash was actually in a lot of danger of losing those drop ships as he was flying in but now actually going to continue pushing down he has a superior force Kanata holds a little bit flash not going to play any risky not going to run right into siege fire because Kanata force still has those six drop ships sitting there actually moving several forces to the right side possibly trying to do a siege pincer attack or maybe even try to go for one of the bases that Kanata has trying to separate the force of Kanata's is actually sieging up several of his tanks in defensive posture possibly anticipating some forces of Kanata still harassing still has those tanks at the four o'clock base Kanata just trying to inch forward to see where the siege ring is and okay Flash anticipating the forces Kanata move to the right here at the middle that Kanata would move all of his forces to the right and Flash actually is setting in several tanks to reinforce that Kanata finally now gonna be able to clean up this uh, four o'clock base finally gonna be able to reestablish it taking a very very long time I gotta say Flash actually put down the upper right one o'clock position still has a lot of tanks on the ground alongside all of his drop ships sorry scans going off trying to just to clear up the minefields that uh, Kanata put down much earlier in the game just both players focusing on Goliaths and tanks at this point and Flash with a huge number of tanks producing them just wow just uh, producing them from the void. Now just gonna drop ships. Also gonna drop along, move down to the south, clearing up the forces. I believe Kana Kanata just does not have enough at this point. Flash producing so many forces so quickly. Uh, Kanata just have nothing. I'm just seeing Flash and Fantasy. These two guys that somehow get an army out of nowhere. Just lay army. There you go. Right army sitting there in their fingers. You'll be able to move down now. Flash is gonna start attacking the six o'clock base. The six o'clock. The uh, five and a f half o'clock, let's call it that. The six to the right base or something. Reestablishing his own base is going to start harassing everyone. Going to start harassing both the six o'clock bases. Kanata trying to do some counter harass at the nine o'clock, but so should actually be able to clear out the forces that Flash has there. Flash by actually moving CCVs out the line, start engaging, but has his own drops in. Yeah, GG coming in for Kanata there. Flash, the first player to move out here. Flash, well, not too big of a surprise, I gotta say. Flash giving a bow, the first player to move out. <clears throat> first of the big, big players to, uh, first of the big three, as I call them, to move out into the round of 16. Uh, the big three, in my mind, is Flash, Jadong, and Bisu, the best player of each race at the moment. Uh, of course, titles can always be contested, but I still believe that's the way it is right now. The most solid players, you will say, we could say. So yeah, Kanata gonna move on to the final match. We'll face up against either Gogo or Savior, and uh, Savior gonna have a game against Gogo. Could be actually pretty tough. If he manages to beat Gogo, he'll be well. He'll have a chance for revenge against Kanata, which was gonna be well. If Savior's gonna have a chance, he's very lucky in that you know he doesn't have to face Flash in the final match. That's all I gotta say in that. So, okay, Group G finally over. Oh my god. TDB, too many TBTs! Ah, tired. Another sip of water. 
Well, guys, I gotta say then, GG Ranch it out. Thanks for listening to my wonderful commentaries. Wow, that kills my throat, and I, I'm gonna stop doing that now.